Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to update both the Uniden R1 and the Uniden R3 radar detectors. Uh, the process is almost exactly the same for both detectors, uh, but there is an extra step involved for the R3 because it does have a GPS chip and a red light camera database as well. Now, in order to do this update, you're gonna need a couple different things. You're gonna need your detector, of course, uh, you're going to need a computer that's running Windows, whether that's a Windows computer or if you have a Mac that has Windows installed on it, like I do here, you can use Boot Camp or Parallels to do that. And then you're also going to need a mini USB cable like this to plug your detector into your computer. And then finally, you're going to need the update software that's available on Uniden's website. Uh, the link right here I'll put down in the video description. You're going to want to go here and then scroll down and click on Firmware. When you do that, you'll notice uh, here's the firmware for both the R1 and the R3. There's a little bit more involved with the R3, again, just because that extra step with the GPS. Now you'll notice for each detector, there's two different links, one, two, and one, two. The main one that you're gonna wanna download is gonna be this right here. This is gonna be the firmware for both detectors. Now, when you go to plug your detector into your computer, your computer should automatically recognize the detector and uh, you know download the drivers for it. Uh, if it's unable to find the drivers, you can click this first link right here and download the drivers uh, so that your computer is able to talk to the detector. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is sometimes uh, with certain mini USB cables, uh, the computer won't actually see it at all. Uh, that's the case if this cable is only meant for charging devices like phones or or dash cams or whatever, uh, you do need a cable that actually has some data communication pins uh, to plug into your detector. So if you find that it's not able to see it at all, try a different USB cable. If you have any issues with downloading the drivers, uh, they're available right here. Anyways, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download the firmware update for whichever detector you need. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna download both of them. So we've got the R1 and we've got the R3. All right, so we've got the firmware downloaded here. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got the R1. On the right-hand side, we've got the R3. Now, the way that it works is you're gonna have your uh, firmware update download tool, the software download tool, and you're also gonna have the firmware file itself over here for the R1. For the R3, it's the same thing. You've got your software download tool as well as the firmware itself. Uh, there's also the red light camera database download tool, and then there's the red light camera database file itself. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the R3 and uh, start with the firmware. So we're gonna do this, and you'll notice there's two different files here. If you have a newer computer that's 64-bit, uh, run the 64-bit version. If you're not sure, you can always go on the safe side and run the x86 version. We're gonna go ahead and do the 64-bit one in this case. So here's the installer, and we'll just click Next a couple times and install the update software on our computer. Close, perfect. So here is the update software. Go ahead and pull it up like this. Uh, okay, so auto-connect, awesome. We got that checked. So now when we go to plug in our detector, all right, and it should automatically find our detector. All right, so we've got it pulled up here. It says it's a Uniden R3, and here is our current firmware version. So we've got uh, the UI, which is the main firmware, uh, 1.25. Uh, we've got the DSP right here, version 1.91, and then we have the GPS firmware, which is 1.00. Uh, now, I've got it pulled up right now with the R1 firmware because I did this previously. Um, now, in order to open up the correct file, if in this case, as you can see, it pulls up the wrong one, we'll just go over here and grab the correct file. All right, so we're gonna pull up the R3 firmware and hit open, perfect. So here's the R3, and you can see it's gonna load in now 1.26, so new uh, UI firmware. Uh, we've got the new DSP firmware, and there's no updates to the GPS firmware, so cool. Uh, we'll hit start and go ahead and let it uh, download that new firmware into the detector. All right, we'll hit okay, and then we'll hit close. Uh, now, we can go ahead and update the red light camera database next. So we'll do the DB download tool, same thing. Uh, we'll do the X64 version, 64-bit. Go ahead and install this in my case. Cool, and then we'll go over here and run the red light camera database tool. Now, uh, auto connect is checked, so it says connected, and uh, you can see the current version that's on there. You can click read version if it doesn't pull it up. Uh, it's from April 5th, 2017. Uh, now, if we've got the uh, database pulled up right here, you can see it's actually the same version, April 5th, uh, 2017. So if that's the case, there's no updates and there's no need to update the detector. But if this was a newer version, when you've got it loaded up here, uh, you can click start download and it'll go ahead and uh, apply the new red light camera database to your detector. Cool, all done, we'll hit okay and then we'll hit close. Now, if we wanna verify that the firmware update was successful, uh, when you actually go out to your car and you plug in your radar detector, we'll go ahead and do it here real quick. Uh, you can hit menu and then hit left a couple times. So let's see, there's our red light camera database. 
and there is our new firmware version, 1.26 and 1.92. So it looks like the new uh, firmware update has completed successfully, so awesome. Uh, let's go ahead next and do the, uh, the R1. Uh, again, the process is gonna be exactly the same. Uh, we're just gonna repeat it here for the other detector so you guys can see that too. So I've got it plugged in here and now let's pull up our software update tool. Auto connect and uh, connect it and now you can see it pulls up the R1. But because we did the R3 last, we're gonna go ahead and have to switch back over to the R1 again. Okay, cool, we've got the R1. For you guys not doing two detectors, it should work just fine and pull up the correct one automatically. Anyway, you can see we've got the R1 and here's what we're gonna be updating it to. So uh, we're starting here, 1.25 and 1.91. Uh, there's no GPS chip, so zero. And then we're gonna be updating to 1.26 and 1.92, perfect. So we'll hit start download and we'll go ahead and let it uh, download this firmware update to our R1. Download completed, we'll hit okay and then we'll hit close, perfect. So let's go ahead and just double check now with uh, power cable, make sure the firmware update was successful. I mean, we know it was, but uh, just nice to double check. So we'll hit menu and we can go see what we're running now. And there you go, 1.26 and 1.92. So awesome, there you go. There is the process for updating the uh, unit in R1 and R3 radar detectors. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and let me know. Uh, again, link will be down in the video description to uh, the update software where you can go download now. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Happy updating. I'll see you guys in the next video.